Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. What you're looking at is a scissor lift capable of going seven meters high up into the air and it's a nice steady work, you know, safe work, for, well, work platform and I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on this. Uh, for this what we're doing here we're building this new workshop and as you can see it's quite high it's five meters high so we needed um, a scissor lift and uh, this is well in all my time I haven't really had to use a scissor lift we have had to use them and other people have used them on our jobs such as running cables and warehouses for cameras and things along those lines but this was the first time I've actually had to use one so I thought I'd give a quick rundown um, on how to use it remember there are courses and things you can do which they'll give you a lot more safety than I'm probably going to give you but if you've got to just jump into one and actually use one this might just give you a quick quick idea so at the moment there's a couple of steps to get up there um, on the side here there's uh, your emergency release and your reset moving along over here you've got your uh, power to plug it in so you can just charge it it's electric it's electric lasts a long time so you push the door, push the door in okay. and then climb up I find it easier to go backwards all right and now 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 we're in automatically locks got a bit of padding here it's got two handles here as you can see and that's basically to slide this platform out so I think you get like two meters but you can get an extra third meter just by sliding it out to slide it out it's pretty easy you kick that down push it forward you've got one stop and two stops okay so that's one and that's two so now you can see we've got quite a lot more quite a lot more okay so that's how you extend the platform. You've got these two handles here that rotate in, they rotate up. Let's kick it back. I would say for driving, it's better off having it always compacted and down low. All right, so here's your controls here. This whole main control unit can come off. You just pull this on the side, lift it off. Okay, now you can use and work right up to that edge. Come back. Okay, it's back in. Uh, emergency stop button. If you go too high on this one, it will beep. You've got your horn and some unknown um, button there as well. Generally easy to use. You've got your up and down and your forwards, forwards and backwards, all controlled by this gear stick. The gear stick has a little switch on the top for left and right. And what that does is that just turns the wheels a little bit. On underneath here, if you can see it, you've got a safety. You need to pull that in at all times before you do anything. So now we're just gonna move forward. So I'm gonna pull in that safety. First of all, pull my button out. Now we should be good. I'm gonna uh, pull in that safety and just push forward and it goes forward and that annoying beep is every time you move all right so if i want to go backwards i pull the safety pull it back okay if i want to go forwards and around that way i'm going to pull my safety push it down a little bit and tap this top one okay i'm going to go around in circles so i'm holding that button down Okay, on, on this exper uh, demonstration, I'm going to pull this safety underneath here and I'm just going to touch these buttons without pushing backwards forwards and you can watch the wheels. So you can control the wheels just by pulling that and touching this top button up the top. Okay, now I'm in position. I simply want to lift up, so I flick it to lift, pull my safety and pull back. Up we go. Okay, so now we're all the way up. If you get any beeping noise, that's because it's not steady. Most of the time you get that, I'm just trying to rock it to get that. Okay, to go down, you simply pull the safety again and push down. Okay, when you're down, um, or sorry, when you're up, you can extend your platform to get that extra reach past where you can actually go. That's been a real help. Uh, moving the controls is a real help. There's some paperwork and instructions down there. These handles fit down. They're also good to hold things if you've got to roll. And entering and leaving, I always like to go backwards through here. So that was just a standard scissor lift. Um, you know, I think it goes to about seven meters. Um, it does have all its maxes there. Max 230 kilos, which is two, equals 270 kilo people. I don't know how that works, that's 140. Um, so there's your max, max turning, max extension, all that sort of stuff. Uh, one of the things I like to do is just go, uh, put in in the spot go all the way up and make sure it's level on level ground and then it's a fairly good platform it does rock a little bit but the lower it is the sort of stronger it is Let's go up 
So we're going up about five, five metres now. And another thing you might want to do is just watch your head or wear a hard hat when using one of these because it's very easy to go all the way up to a roof and hit your head. Okay, so now let's check on how sturdy it is. So I'm going to give it a shake. So the base is not moving, but there is movement in the actual top carriage, which is okay, you get used to it. And knowing that this has so much weight beneath it, and it, um, you know, has more weight than you've got, you should be fairly safe. All right, down we go. All right, so the safety underneath, always pull that in to go any direction. So forwards is down, back is up. When you put it in uh, the drive mode, forwards is forwards and pulling it back will make you go back there's no sort of left and right it's just forwards backwards forwards backwards you got your battery indicator up here so it's quite easy to charge uh, you got your horn <whistles> sounds just as bad as the beeping noise all the time and that's pretty much it so yeah if you are uh, working at heights and you and your boss is trying to get you up on a ladder and it's over probably three meters i would suggest telling him to just hire a, a scissor lift this one here cost us about 500 dollars for a week including delivery which i think is pretty fair and considering um the amount of times we've had to use it and the amount of times we've slid in this platform out to get that overreach or that overhang i think it's um worth every cent okay leave your comments thanks for watching